Great Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a cloudy, cool, a wet Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great day. Hope you're full. If not, there's probably leftovers. That is for sure. Right now, though, we are watching the rainfall continue to fall in parts of Waco. This is our live Centex roof system sky tracker right here in Woodway. That is Highway 84 kind of shot in there from all the rain that uh, we've been looking at. It is 58 degrees. Current temperature winds are out of the north at 13. You'll notice our dew point and our temperature are the same, so we are totally 100% and there it is right now. Our wind out of the north at 13, so that's uh, about the only saving grace from uh, uh, seeing some fog here. If that, if that wind was light, we'd be looking at some fog here across the region, but that wind's kind of mixing up the atmosphere just a little bit. Here's our exclusive Viper radar of that rain activity right along the I-35 corridor from Waco down toward Temple over toward Coin. Again, nothing severe. We had those thunderstorms that rolled through earlier today. I know some uh, areas picked up some very, very small hail again, well below severe limits. But again, some uh, thunderstorms packing a little punch there and you can see their rainfall moving through uh, central parts of McLennan County, all moving off to the east and northeast roughly at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. There's the big picture. I think it does taper off a little bit and again, another little batch may move in here for the morning hours across the region. As we check out the 24 hour rainfall Estimates right now, again, this is all Doppler radar indicated, but you'll notice though, uh, very close to two, two and a half here, uh, just around the uh, Waco area, uh, not too much down toward Temple. But again, we will be improving these numbers overnight, but some areas picked up some healthy rainfall amounts, like over toward Gatesville, over four inches in some areas, maybe not quite as much down toward the Brazos Valley, but Again, more rain in the forecast later on tonight as well as tomorrow morning. We've got 56 degrees right now up in Hillsborough. It's 61 Temple down toward Colleen's at 61 degrees. 57 right now in the Gatesville area and temperatures are in the 60s down in the Brazos Valley. 62 in Brenham and the current temperature as you can see there in College Station right at 62 degrees. So here's what I expect throughout the evening. This is at midnight tonight. Rain kind of tapers off just a little bit. So maybe a little break in the action where it's not raining. But look at this tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. All kinds of showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Just pack your umbrella. If you are headed out for those uh, sales tomorrow, you're going to be looking at some either cloudy conditions, some spotty rain, or what you're going to be looking at is cool temperatures too. So uh, make sure you, you've got uh, that coat on for sure. And as we hit to the afternoon and evening, here comes another little batch moving across our area, all lifting from the south to the north. Once again, an isolated thunderstorm can't roll in. That's another area low pressure continued to move through. So Saturday, we'll start off with some rain, but then quickly we'll start to dry it out as that drier air begins to funnel in here and that kind of thins out the clouds just a little bit. So here's the forecast for tonight. We're going to keep it cloudy with periods of rain. 54 degrees will be your low temperature. And then periods of rain tomorrow, about a 60% chance right now. 59 degrees the high winds out of the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then as we look ahead again, this is your rooms to go long range 10 day forecast, mainly before noon right now on Saturday 61. And then we'll start to see those temperatures slowly start to climb up. Another system moves through on Tuesday. It looks like most of the energy right now is going to be to our east. So we'll just put a 20% chance in. We go from 76 though to 56. So it is a, a pretty strong front. So we'll watch that closely. Temperatures then by the end of next week, as you can see, mainly in the 50s and lower 60s. And then down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, a pretty good shot of some rain, maybe some isolated thunder tomorrow. And again, early on Saturday, we start to dry it out by late Saturday. Sunday looks fine. There's the front on Tuesday. And by Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see temperatures kind of be uh, pretty moderate in the upper 50s to the lower 60s across the area. You know, uh, Eric